It's just the exhaust has to pop and always imaginable. <laughs> What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, machines and machine freaks. I am here with the BMW. As you guys saw yesterday, we started the six pipe exhaust. And on top of that, we started our reptile machine. I also removed this exhaust. I don't know if this is stock or not. I believe that it would be stock, but when I looked up some parts on eBay, I could not find this particular exhaust. So if anybody knows what this is, please leave it in the comment section below. I would really, really appreciate it. Also keep in mind, I haven't seen yesterday's comments yet because the video has currently not gone live at this point in time. Later on in the video, the video will go live. I'll check on your comments. So if we start something and I do it wrong because of other requests, please, uh, well, I guess don't be mad at me. We left off on this mission. We got to connect that pipe, the new pipe, to our other new pipes over here. And I have an idea. Just sometimes making that idea isn't the easiest thing in the world. But let's get started. So I have these bad boys all marked up. As you can see, they're clearly attacked, but I have them marked so once I rip them off, I can put them exactly where they go, or where they are currently at least. What I'd like to accomplish is to get this pipe back up into here. Then I'll take a second pipe, cut the exact same way, and put it on the front ear, and then I'm going to do something custom in the center. You guys will see that in a second. But I'm just thinking whether or not I'm gonna cut all of them at the same angle, or if I just wanna cut the two outer ones. Yeah, it is getting pretty wicked pretty quick. I'm gonna throw the exhaust back on the car, see what it looks like. This is my handy dandy tool here. I made a little mark here, made a mark on here so I know exactly where they were before because that's where I like them. That's perfect fit, man. I know it's probably tough for you guys to imagine this because it's not on the ground. It's, it's kind of frustrating to me too because it's not going to look the exact same. But I do like the fact that when it's in the air, I can see this first pipe here. And when I'm at the back, I can see that pipe. Now, once this thing's on the ground though, you probably will not be able to see the back pipe. And when it comes to the front, you'll probably only be able to see that. Now, this looks so ridiculous at this angle. I love it. So the original muffler was pretty big, or the silencer, whatever you call it. It was pretty big. It has this nice little compartment here. It's still got the uh, heat radiant stuff on there. We still have a lot of room to play here, but what I'm thinking here is I'm going to build a box. Kind of like that, but not with all the circular stuff to it. I was going to make it out of this stuff right here, but I think this is even too rusty for my nice new exhaust. Eventually it might come down to stuff like that. I just don't want to, it, it's hard to settle for something like that when I have everything else so clean right now. I put this nice piece of steel on and I'm like, oh man, that would be so satisfying at the moment. And the funny thing is you won't even be able to see that, but I think I want to buy new stuff. I've cut this piece for I think the last time. Now I'm getting ready to go under the car, take both these pieces and mark them. But before I do that, I do want to remind you guys that there's only two days left in the GoPro giveaway. Go to machinemerch.com, get anything froggy fresh, super fly, and you're automatically entered. But if you get a hat, a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, check this out. Today I got the official Machine USA t-shirt. As you guys saw, we, we had the prototype. This is the legit one. It's got a bigger M and it looks super fly. Somebody's gonna win this GoPro and all the mounts very, very soon. Is it gonna be you? It's all marked, time to remove it, and weld it yet again. You'll never guess what I have to do next. 
no, test bait. As you can see, the distance has definitely changed from that piece to this piece. I mean, these two are really, really close, so I'm really, really getting excited. I'd like to tie this pipe up to our first pipe over here. I'd like to do that somewhere up here on this part of the exhaust, and then continue straight to get to this part of the exhaust. And then what I'm going to do is build some sort of box here that then takes the remaining exhaust gases and throws them through these four. I definitely have a few marks to help me with my madness. <laughs> but now I gotta rip this thing back off. Dang it. Several bad puns later. Chickity, check this out. You know how when you go to the hospital and you know you cut the umbilical cord to separate the mother from the kid? Well, we did the opposite. We connected these two. I don't know which one's which. I would assume that that's the mother because this is a bad mother. I'm gonna have to kill that spider that's around the shop because it's all over. Its cobwebs are everywhere. Since this thing is out from under the car, I can finally weld it with some comfort. Before under there, it, it just is not the most convenient thing. As you can see, this pipe is cut here so exhaust gases can go through there. The exhaust gases will continue and I'm going to distribute them to the remaining five here. So I'm going to incorporate the original exhaust mounting. This one rotted off, but we're not even gonna be able to use that one because it's too far out. We can manage to, if I really wanted to, I could take that one off and then have two here. The new one's probably a third, maybe even a quarter of the weight of that one. I gotta go get some metal though, because this isn't the prettiest, even though we probably will use this. Just leaving the store, I picked up a piece of steel, took off my work sweatshirt for a change. I can finally take it off. I'm not working and welding and burning my skin. Rock the new machine, USA flag t-shirt. And rocking out to Taylor Swift, life is good. We most certainly are gonna keep this momentum up. I am cutting another piece, hopefully our last piece. It's going to require two cuts though. I'm trying to put it right there, and then we'll bring this guy into the mix. You know how everybody says measure twice, cut once? Well, I'm really, really glad I did that because I was about to cut my only sheet that I have. It's a two foot section and I need exactly a foot on each side because this is gonna have a top and a bottom. I was about to cut it a half inch long on the one side, which as you guys know, would make a half inch short on the other side. So I'm really glad I measured twice. It'll sit something like that. It'll be welded shut so that there's no gas leaks. I am going to notch the top portion here. I know it's the bottom here, but it's the top on the car. I'm going to cut this out so that there's free flowing gases, even though this is already overkill. 8.01 p.m. I have it tacked around the perimeter. I'll put a gusset right here to make a seal because as you can see, there, you can see inside what this will be. Basically, I'm making this thing airtight, but it's difficult because you have a flat surface and then you have a curved surface, so there's a lot more welding than I anticipated, but it's okay, we'll get it done. I'm currently rocking out to Call Me Maybe, but while I'm doing that, I'm getting the top portion of this muffler done. As you can see, I got some marks here. I'm trying to fit this real, real nice so that it fits real tight. We're in the final stretch. It's really late at night though. It's it's still light, but it's still, it gets dark at like 9.30. Things making the exhaust ticks. You know how you turn off your vehicle after you drive it. It starts making those ticks because the expansion of the metals. Well, I'm down to the, like the last three inches here. And then I have probably about six inches of weld there. And then this thing is done. I just can't kill my welder. I need to give it a break from time to time. I can't just go Boom, 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 or zap, zap. I gotta give it a break, otherwise I'm just gonna burn it up. But I'm finally done. Now for a side-by-side -side comparison after I put on uh, my hat. Before, after. This thing is looking amazing, ridiculous, insane, crazy. Insert any adverbs in the comment section below at this time. One of machine's first exhausts ever. Time to install. I'm just gonna tack it up for now because I don't have the mounting stuff all set up. First start ever on the jacks. Hopefully this goes okay.
Man, that thing sounds so bassy and so awesome. That's really gonna help me push getting the mounts all done tomorrow along with the differential. The differential, I uh, I kind of broke it. It's not, it, it's not really on the vehicle the best, so I need to fix that. So then we can move with that sound, which is amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. I know you enjoyed this 3D Machines production. Remember, there's only two more days to the GoPro giveaway. Yes, this stuff right here. Get anything from machinemerch.com, a sticker, a hat, a sweatshirt, anything, and you're automatically entered. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow and the BMW. Hopefully get a little bit more progress done, get this thing moving. If you aren't already subscribed, subscribe, become a machine or machine freak today. Until next time, 3D Machines out. See you guys later. Yeah.